Hi there, I'm Ben Allen and welcome back to Anthology Deptford Foundry. This is my second short film providing customers with a detailed construction update as well as a look ahead to what's planned over the summer months. We reported in the autumn that the trading estate which once stood here was successfully demolished and that site preparation works were about to commence. Well I'm delighted to confirm, as you can see, that we now have a busy, bustling, vibrant construction site one that continues to change on a daily basis, with construction and operations progressing in line with our programme. The site is now fully set up to accommodate at peak 300 operatives, as well as an extensive management team. And we are also receiving, on average, around 20 tonnes of steel and 80 cubes of concrete each day to make sure our structural frame programme is achieved. On the 15th of February this year, Construction operations officially commenced here at Deptford Foundry with the piled foundations. We have had two piling rigs on site now for two months and we've completed over 900 piles across the nine buildings that make up the development. This provides each building with a robust foundation in which to build the concrete frame. With the piling now 100% complete and groundworks and structural frame being the main focus of operation, our main contractor now needs tower cranes to help load out concrete support decks and reinforce steelwork. Here at Deptford Foundry, we currently have two tower cranes standing at 30 metres tall and a third tower crane planned for later in the summer that will stand at 70 metres tall, which will be specifically for Cobalt Tower at the apex of the site. Our three cranes have been designed by our structure engineer, but also they've been designed specifically so they do not oversell our neighbouring railways. I'm now stood on the first floor of Arbor House, where behind me, the contractor is working on the reinforced steel ready for a concrete pour later this week. And then further behind me is another gang working on false work for the stair core and the lift shaft, which will provide access to the homes in Arbor House. Underneath me will also be the energy centre, providing district heating and hot water to the entire development. Over the course of the summer, the structural frame for Arbor House will continue to take shape with a planned completion in the autumn ready for the next phase of works. I'm now stood on the footprint of Alloy House where the piling and groundworks are now complete. In fact, right now I'm stood on a pile cap which was cast last week. Over the coming days, we'll be getting the ground floor ready for its first concrete slab and over the summer months, the structural frame will be taking shape so that it'll be complete for the autumn ready for the next phase of works. As I said at the start, Deptford Foundry is now progressing very well. By the autumn we plan to complete the structural frames of each of the buildings on site, with the exception of Cobalt Tower, which has a more complex programme and methodology. Cobalt Tower is actually positioned directly behind me, and in the coming weeks we plan to start the basement dig, and by the summer we plan to complete the ground floor slab. By the autumn the tower will be up to level 10 in terms of the central core, and level 5 in terms of the concrete structure. Off site, our specialist consultant teams will be progressing the detailed design for the mechanical and electrical services and the facade in order for these to commence first fix in the autumn. As communicated by our team recently, unexpected delays in the planning and pre-construction phase have regrettably impacted on our planned occupation dates. However, we hope you can see that construction has well and truly commenced on site and that our contractors are making great progress to ensure that our revised plan is achieved. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to updating you on more progress later in the year.